Hi guys, my name is Asagwa Lolo and it is me asking other questions but I know that married people ask themselves. So, not to be asked a very fine question today, you know, but I know that it's a sensitive one anyways. What's the question? We just got married and one of our in wants to stay with us. What do I do? Now I'm going to tell you something. You see that um, in Africa, marriage is actually very, very common now. Very, very common now. It means that um, in fact, in some customs and in some society, they believe that uh, if it's the man that marries a wife, they say that we married a wife, and they say that our wife, uh, it could mean like uh, being possessive in some context. But I feel that people believe that marriage is expanding a way of expanding your family, a way of spreading the tentacles or the breath of one's family. So the person that comes in is seen as a family, is seen as one of them. So why am I saying this? I'm trying to tell you that uh, sometimes there are compromises you have to make when it comes to marriage. You know? But the truth is this, as newly married couples, if you really don't know yourselves and a third party is coming in, you have to consider many factors. Now, if you are newly married and you are marrying into a room and pile of self contained I would strictly honestly advise that you don't take a third party, you don't take any loss. It means that the person can't sleep in the bedroom with you, he has to sleep or she has to sleep in the sitting room. That's an issue. That's an issue. It means that you probably have to share the same toilet and the same bathroom. It probably means that you guys will be bumping into each other for many, many reasons. You know? There will be no privacy for you, there will be no privacy for that other person. You at the end such would eventually end up as a rift people will have issues with themselves the person might live angry and the likes you know so if i were to answer somebody who just married and it's into a room and a parlor or uh room self content no don't take extra persons for now but if it's um two bedroom apartment a three bedroom apartment a four bedroom apartment or a duplex you know i i, I think um, there's nothing wrong with taking in in-laws honestly there's nothing wrong with taking any heroes. But if both of you have agreed before the marriage that you're not taking any heroes, you have to sit that again and think about it. Should we renege on that decision or should we go on? If you want to go on with your decision, fine. Yeah. You're not responsible for any other third party actually. Yeah. But if you want to renege on it, you have to also consider that um, you can bear it. You know, there's something your bad used to say. They would say that there are certain things that you know you will not take when you're rich or you're wealthy. So let people know that you won't take it from the moment where you are poor so that when you become rich they will not say that it is the wealth that changed your attitude so what am i saying essentially now if you are going to take in somebody in your marriage you have to be able to draw out the line set out certain standards that you know that if they break it you won't be able to cope with it don't open all the doors and then you start feeling like no you have opened the door too wide what do i mean if you are taking in a third party, have you considered how you're going to be feeding the person? Are you going to be feeding the person or the person will be feeding himself or So, Will the person be having access to your husband's room or your, your wife's room? Will you be comfortable with that? You have to look at those things. If you feel that there are things you will not consistently allow the person to. So the moment the person is coming in, you have to have spelt it out with each other that baby, maybe it's your husband or baby, if it's your wife. And this one, let the person come in, but we're not going to take this take that you know and then always ensure that there is a time frame how long is this person staying is this person staying with us forever you know what i'm saying this things happen you know things happen necessity can make somebody want to stay with you things happen so if it's a case of a necessity that this person has no other choice or no other option than to stay with you you can allow those people but if there are other options for the person and you're newly married don't take it anybody don't take it Anybody. Now, if I've answered your question, you can check me up on Facebook or on Instagram or on any of my social media platforms until I come your way again. Stay tuned.